r slash out off the loop. Saywood says. What's going on with the Atlanta protest, National Guard activated? From the article it seems like people are angry that a guy who shot a cop got killed. Anyone know what's happening, and why it's happening? Some background on the issues would be nice. Thanks in advance. Chef Mark Samson says. Answer, the only evidence that the protester who was killed shot at the cops is police testimony. They've released no additional evidence, and several witnesses on the ground reported only hearing one burst of gunfire, not a back and forth, that would be consistent with police claims. Many protesters feel that the police murdered the protester in question, and are covering it up. Meanwhile, the governments of Atlanta, DeKalb County, and the state of Georgia are trying out a new anti-protest tactic in which any protests that lead to destruction of property are classed as terrorism, and will be met with much harsher policing and prosecution. That, together with the probable unrest following the release of the Memphis video today, prompted the governor to mobilize the National Guard as a precautionary measure and show of force. Caniglio Pepo says. Those are basically general tests of fascism. Good luck from an Italian, you'll need it. Yo underscore just underscore scrolling underscore yo says. Ron DeSantis is trying to practice this in FL. He had the state legislature pass a law saying that protesters could be removed or run over in the streets if it was 10th number of protesters and not a sanctioned protest. Of course only maggot protests were going to be allowed. Didn't hold up in court, but some people around here think it's a law. You can guess the rest. Fascism and anarchy. 10 ever 10 says. Answer, from the article it seems like people are angry that a guy who shot a cop got killed that's the story as the police tells it. The protesters claim that there was only one burst of fire, killing both the guy and hitting the cop with friendly fire. r slash out off the loop. Direct underscore solution underscore 2590 says. What's going on with Al-Qaeda ISIS? Ak ISIS were blowing each other up in Yemen, and ISIS launches terrorist attacks on Taliban, staunch Al-Qaeda allies, ruled Afghanistan, what's the disagreement over? p 0 Litix 420 says. Answer, they are two opposing terrorist groups. It makes sense that they would come to blows, since they're in direct competition. Important Tune says. Answer, the disagreement is complicated. It all started on June 8th, 632, when Muhammad died it's for the most part the same old story. Different sects detonating each other's innocent civilians. Jlaw54 says. Answer, op, I responded to a main comment below with information. That should help answer your question. R slash out off the loop. 5 Everall question says. What's going on with Canada and Trudeau? I mean more generally, with the convoy protesters, and more specifically with, why the man seems to be hated. I don't keep all too much up to date on politics, but I have a few friends who do, and some really hate Trudeau, talking about scandals in the World Economic Forum, I don't know what that is either. An example is in the picture in this post, Reddit seems to hate these protesters, but I'd like some context as to why Trudeau is so hated, and what the WEF has to do with it. A little help, please? Ursus Romanus says. Answer, people don't. His popularity numbers are still above his vote, share in the last election. Canada isn't a two-party system like the US, so popularity of the Prime Minister is often not a majority of Canadians as they'd prefer their own party or just dislike politicians. Cory Fun one says. Answer, he's not. It's Q North conspiracies. Snarfums says. Answer, Justin Trudeau, JT, has been the Prime Minister, PM, of Canada since 2015 and his father was the PM back in the 60s and 70s so there is a lot of time, context, and history required to understand the hate. I'm not an expert, but I will do my best. 
Canada has a multi-party system, but control of the federal government, the ones that run Canada itself, and not its individual provinces etc, has bounced between the liberal and conservative parties for a long time, though these parties can have different names through time. Canada is also strongly influenced by the US culture war, so we have developed the same conflict between left, usually liberal, versus right, usually conservative, politics. However, it is important to know, that the liberals are not a politically left party, they are at their best center left on certain issues are, are quite right leaning on others, for instance. Capitalism. JT's father Pierre Elliott Trudeau, Pet, was the leader of the Liberal Party from 1968 to 1984, and was the PM from 1968 to 1979. Right-leaning people hated Pet, because of his further left politics, again not all the way left, and because of his personality which clashed with common. R slash out off the loop. Lanny77 says. Why have people been talking about the Medsner Zempic? I've seen people all over TikTok raving about the Medsner Zempic. From my understanding it's a diabetes medication, but is commonly prescribed off-label for weight loss. This medication has been around for years, though, why is everyone talking about it now, did a celebrity take it to lose weight or something? Left square bracket. But Ryan Dolovan says. Answer, it's the medication meant for people with type 2 diabetes, that apparently has the side effect of weight loss, so doctors, especially doctors whose patients have money and good insurance, as it's fairly expensive, have been prescribing it solely for weight loss. This has caused supplies, to run low and people who actually need it for diabetes may have been unable to get it. A lot of celebrities have recently lost some weight thanks to this drug and others like it, and now that there are shortages and people in need can't get it, it's become a point of shame to admit that you have been taking it. This is why you may have seen articles regarding whether or not a celebrity did or didn't take it. No Initiative 4195 says. Chelsea Handler was just quoted as saying she didn't know she was taking it. You literally have to take a pen out of a box that says a Zempic, put a needle on it, and inject yourself in the abdomen. But Ryan Dolovan says. I read that article. What's funny is, that I didn't even really look at the picture posted here, but the woman shown, is a daughter of a former real housewife of New York City, and the reality show people are the ones who are fighting the most, over whether or not someone took this medication. Abwin says. Answer, it's a diabetes medication, that also can help with weight loss. Apparently it's recently getting harder, to get because of increasing off-label prescriptions for weight loss, rather than its intended treatment of diabetes. It's fairly expensive so, unless you have good insurance or a lot of money you probably can't afford it. I guess it's gotten popular with celebrities, etc and it's been heavily advertised on TV in recent weeks. So more people are finding out about it. I've been on it, and met Foreman, for almost a year, because I got diagnosed with diabetes last year. I definitely lost a decent amount of weight pretty quickly after starting it. When I first started using it, I found I didn't have much appetite for several days, after taking an injection which probably... R slash out off the loop. McQuavin says. What's the deal with all the weapons the US is sending to Ukraine? I keep seeing how powerful and effective the weapons we are sending to Ukraine are. Bradley's, Abrams, Patriot. Why and how would these be effective specifically against Russia? I've recently seen that our weapons and military technology are reportedly much superior to the Russian military technology, but I would like to really understand why, rather than just saying our technology is new compared to this just being old. Maleficent underscore trick underscore 502 says. Answer, most of America's arsenal was designed with a possible war against Russia on European soil in mind. In fact every European military had the core focus of countering Russia. Bradley was designed to counter Russian tanks. 
Russia's greatest strength is long-range missiles, so Patriot and other systems were made to counter it. It's worth pointing out that Abrams has a complicated logistics tale. It uses 3 gallons of gas, where Leopards use 1 gallon per cow. So most army generals wanted Germany to send their Leopard tanks. Since it's easier and cheaper to maintain and fix. Also Germany is nearby. I say this because the Abrams may have been a political play to get Germany to send its own tanks. I doubt Abrams will be seen much on offense. The Lizard King 89 says. The Bradley was definitely not designed to counter Russian tanks. It was designed to carry infantry into battle and to support them with its auto cannon. If a Bradley encounters a tank, it should run, because one hit from a tank's main gun and that Bradley is toast. Nsgrim says. If Bradley was designed to counter anything, it would be Russian BMPs, seeing how it was created basically as a shit, Russian have this new concept of an infantry fighting vehicle and we have nothing to fill that slot in doctrine, we need something. It can fight Russian tanks, and has done it before in Iraq, but it's not its main purpose. Bookish Squirrel says. Answer, the US has considered Russia to be its primary adversary since the end of WWII, so every weapon system purchased by the US has been designed to counter the known capabilities of the Russian military. Rooster says. Designed. To counter the known capabilities of the Russian military. Which. This war shows have been greatly overestimated. That's all for this video. Was it good? I know not for I'm a robot. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. This video is the product of an automated process.